Hello again everyone, I'm Dave Thomas and today I am building the Sputnik from Auto Rockets. This is a relatively simple kit, it's basically a styrofoam ball and some bamboo skewers here. Uh, but it really does fly, although it won't orbit. So let's just go ahead and open this thing up. And see what we've got inside here. Okay, so we have four skewers here that will be the antennae. Um, a small parts bag here, and this contains the motor mount, a bulkhead, and a launch lug. Okay, the main body of the rocket here is this styrofoam ball. And this is pre-drilled to accept the dowels and the motor mount there. Okay, and finally our instruction sheet. Okay, which I can use to confirm here that we've got everything we need. And we do. Now according to the instructions, our first task is to glue in the stop disc or engine block here. And this is just this little plywood disc and this is going to fit flush in the engine mount like that. Okay, so here we're going to put in <clears throat> a small amount of either white glue or wood glue. I'm going to use wood glue just because it dries faster and a little stronger. And we're going to want to have a little bit of control here. So I'm just going to use the stick end of an applicator so that I can get this just right inside the edge. So I don't want a bunch of glue going down inside where it may interfere with the motor itself. Okay, and then we're just going to take this just inside there and then what I'm going to do is just press this down against a flat surface make sure it's not something that you don't want glue on All right, and I'm going to just remove that excess glue okay and then we'll come over here to step two where we need to measure a mark one eighth of an inch from the aft end. Okay. So just take a pencil and make a little mark right there. Okay, and then this is going to go up inside the hole here up to that eighth inch mark. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is just make sure this all fits. You may have to twist things a little bit. Okay, that looks like it's going to go okay. I'm going to pull that back out again. Alright, now there's also the launch lug here. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in. We're not gluing anything yet. Right, put that back into my eighth inch mark. Okay, and then the launch lug goes in this hole right beside it here. So I'm going to push that in as well. And that should come up through the other side right there. That should be even with the motor mount there. Next we need to mark each of the dowels at one inch from the tapered end here. So once again just find an inch, make a mark there and repeat for all of them. There we 
ago. And then each of these is going to go in the four holes down here up to that marking. sure everything is straight and square. Okay, it's pretty the some of my dowels are a little bit warped here. Um, but it looks like the overall position is pretty good. And we can turn these to some extent to kind of make the warping less noticeable. Okay. Now, next it wants us to squirt glue down inside there and then put them back in again. All right, and ideally, these should be getting close to, if not right up against, the motor mount there. Um, it still has, it has not told us to glue in the motor mount yet, so we're going to go ahead and do the sticks here. Um, and my white glue and my wood glue don't have the nice little squirty parts, so I'm just going to apply some down in here. All right, and one of the key things here is you don't want to use anything other than white or wood glue because plastic cements and super glues and things like that will melt the styrofoam, and we don't want melted styrofoam. All right, and then just go ahead and put those back in right up to your pencil mark. And then go ahead and check it from above and below. All right. And again, if you've got some warpage here, you can kind of turn these to whichever way you want them to go. I'm trying to get mine all to spread toward the outside. All right, now I'm just going to let that glue dry for just a few minutes before we continue. Okay. Now for the motor mount and the launch lug, it just shows putting a fillet around here rather than gluing them in place. You can do that. Um, I prefer things to be a little bit more robust than that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this back out carefully. inside there. The launch lug is actually exposed um, inside there. And now I'm just going to take some more of my wood glue. I'm going to spread that around there a bit. And making sure that I get some on the launch lug that's exposed. That way we're not just trusting the friction to hold everything in place. Alright, now we can go ahead and insert this back in. Right. 
just like that. Okay. And then now, if you want, you can go ahead and put the fillets around here, but since now it's glued inside, you really don't need it, and it's not going to do much for the aerodynamics of it. Now, regardless of whether or not you want to put the fillets on, in addition to the glue that we already put on for the motor mount, the uh, instructions do recommend putting a layer of glue basically all around the legs here and the motor mount to help protect from any uh, exhaust gases that may get deflected back up against there. So for this I am going to use white glue. All right, you can just kind of squirt some on there and then we'll move it around with the finger. Okay, don't get it up in the motor mount. Okay, um, if you wanted to, you could actually spread this all over the ball. If you want to give it a smoother finish, just be aware that this does also add weight to the rocket, which means you won't get as high of an altitude. Although this really isn't meant for altitude anyway, so that's kind of up to you. Personally for now, I'm just going to do this around the legs and the motor mount. I keep hitting the camera with the legs there. Alright, and then just let this dry. And when it's dry, you're pretty much ready to launch. So, so this just needs to completely dry at this point, and then it's ready to launch. Now, if you do want to decorate this, um, and they make note of this in the instructions, you can't use any kind of spray paint on here. Um, or at least enamels and such. You could use acrylic paints, um, and there are some enamels that um, will attach to this without melting it. That's mainly the thing we need to worry about is that the solvents found in most spray paints can melt the styrofoam here. All right, but you could use acrylics. Um, you could use brush on acrylics relatively easily. Uh, they actually suggest in the instructions that if you want to make the legs colorful you could use uh, permanent markers for that. You can, if you want, use some 400 grit sandpaper to smooth the legs a little bit more. But however you want to decorate it, that's up to you. The project itself here is done. So have a great launch and a safe recovery, and please stay tuned for more of my videos.